girl, Lena Green. <clears throat> Better just turn that off now. Hello. I'm feeling called to talk about the heart center right now. I don't know why I just am. I don't even, I'm so tired today. I'm like, it's one of those days, you know what I mean? And I'm like, Alina, I don't even know if you should film right now because you're like half asleep. But something's telling me to talk about the heart center. And I was talking about the heart chakra yesterday on my Instagram and I like posted some things on there. And this is going to be brief because I don't, I just, I feel guided to talk about this and it's not, it's not going to be very long. So really what I wanted to talk about is that your heart center is a very important thing when it comes to creation in your life. Okay. The energy of the heart is infinitely more powerful than the power behind your thoughts. And I'm trying to explain this in the way that I know it to be. I'm going to try to explain this in the correct way. You can think things and you can imagine things and you can envision things and you can visualize all that you want. But if you do not put your heart center behind it, it's not as, it's not as strong. It's not as, it's not as effective. Okay. So when you pair visualization with the feelings behind your heart consciously when you use the power and the feeling in your heart to visualize to envision your life to see things to to create your your level of creation is so much higher spoke to somebody like somebody needed to hear that I don't I'm sorry this video is going to be kind of weird because I don't even know what else to say right now like I'm not being really called to say anything else except that a lot of us right now are healing our heart center okay a lot of us are and a lot of the energy in the universe right now a lot of the planetary alignments everything that's going on right now is very conducive for you to do that it's very it's very aligned for you to heal and to increase that power of your heart. And in the last video, I talked about emotional freedom and emotional freedom is something that your heart needs. Your heart needs emotional freedom. Your heart needs to release the, the sadness or the anger or whatever else is being carried around within your body because it's in turn being felt by you and what you feel and what you focus on, you create more of. So for those of us right now that are making really, really, really huge strides in our healing, a lot of it's focused around the heart center, okay? And positive attribute of the heart center, of the heart chakra is going to be the lover, the, the person who just spreads their love to others, okay? The negative attribute is going to be the person who wants to be loved, Okay, the person who wants to be idolized, the person who wants to be amused, the person who wants to be paid attention to, okay, that is a negative attribute. So your heart chakra is off if that's what you're focused on. For those who are aligned in their heart chakra, of course, there's many different qualities, but the main one is going to be that you are full of love for other people, not for yourself, okay? Of course, you love yourself, okay? Self-love is a whole other conversation. That's not what I'm talking about. But your your goal is for others. Your goal is to love others. Everything that you do has an underlying message for others. You're trying to help others get to where you are. You're trying to help others see. You're trying to help others love their self as much as you have now come in to love yourself. That is the positive attribute of the heart center. So for those who are there, just know that we are right where we need to be and we are doing exactly what we're supposed to do. And we're meant to love each other into healing and help each other and you know to help each other heal our heart chakra and the way that we do that is through love through loving others and through helping others and through being kind and being open-minded and being the change that other people need to see in the world sometimes people are going to be mean to you sometimes people are going to lash out at you and your power is not responding the same way that they do 
Your power is by remaining who you are. Your power is by responding with love. Let me tell you something. When you respond with love to somebody who's unkind to you, to somebody who's rude to you, to somebody who hurts you, your response is more powerful than you yet realize. And you might not realize it now, and they might not even realize it right now, but let me tell you, when you respond with love, and I'm not saying that, you know, somebody treats you like shit and you've got to, you know, be like, wow, I love you, or let me give you money, I love you. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, if somebody's rude to you or somebody's being unkind to you, do not drop to their level and do the same thing. Don't be angry back. Don't, don't be mean back to them. Be kind to them instead. Do they deserve it? No, probably not. But that's who you are, so don't allow them to change who you are. And that response will help change things, okay? For them, for you, who knows? But, you know, either way, it's it's an alchemy response of you taking something negative and turning it into love. And that's a powerful response. So I just wanted to say that, and I just wanted to send some love out there to everybody right now who's working on their heart, who's letting go of past experiences, who's letting go of family traumatic events, who's letting go of anger and sadness and feeling misunderstood and letting go of your past and the, and the things that you've done wrong or the things that you wish you would have done differently or the things that you wish you would have changed. I'm talking to all of you. I want you to know that you're not alone and this life is crazy and it's weird and it's hard to understand sometimes, but we are all on a very, very, very unique but specific and beautiful journey here and we are not allowing ourselves to be distracted by what life has around us you know life is built to distract you there's a reason why you start as a young child going to school from very early in the morning until midday okay they're just conditioning you to fit into the system conditioning you to work a nine-to-five now, I'm not saying that you don't got to work to live, but listen, everything is by an agenda. Everything is stretched so that humans are stretched thin, our time is stretched thin, our money is stretched thin. They don't want us to thrive. They do not want us to be doing self-discovery. They do not want us to be learning about ourselves, to be caring about nutrition, to be caring about what's good for our bodies, our minds, our spirit. They don't want us joining together to take care of the earth or to take care of each other. They want us fighting. They want us in emotional turmoil. They want us in emotional instability. Why? Because when you have a population overcome with emotional instability, you're, they are easily controlled. All right. They're not thinking about what they're putting in the food. They're not thinking about what's in the water. They're not thinking about what's in the sky. They're not thinking about what's going on behind the scenes or all of the corruption that's going on or how many animals are tortured every day for the sake of feeding people. Like they're not thinking about that because they're, they're tired. They're working, trying to support their family. They're fighting amongst each other about abortion and about this, that, and the other, and the third. And they're not focused on self-discovery because they don't have the mindset and the time for it. And I'm not saying the mindset is that they don't have the strength. They absolutely have the strength. Every person on this earth is capable of transforming their self, of uplifting, of ascending, of rising, of rising, okay? Everybody has the potential. It's just that some people are not stuck in the right mindset. Some people are stuck in the wrong mindset. Some people have completely moved into operating out of the subconscious. So they are no longer conscious creators of their world. They are not consciously living their life. They're not consciously experiencing their life. They're just going through the motions as though they're like a robot. They're a zombie. They're asleep. Okay. That's where the term comes in, like woke, awakened. And you know, it's become so thrown around now that I hate to even use the word. It's almost like derogatory now. Like if you say that you're woke, I just, I don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? But we all really know what it is and that a lot of us are waking up to our true potential, to who we are, where we came from, who we came from, and just how much power we have. And a key part of that journey is not becoming angry and not allowing your heart center to be weighed down by anger or frustration, sadness for what you now see, what you now have an ability to see. Okay. Your, your world is so much clearer. Now you can see things for exactly what they are. This is an evil world. This world is ran by evil. It's supported by evil. This world is evil. 
okay? And and it's hard to live in, but you cannot focus on that. The enemy wants you to focus on that. The enemy wants you to focus on lack, on not having enough, on all the terrible things that are going on. He wants you to focus on it. Why? Because that's what you're giving your life to. That's what you're giving your mind to. Your mind is the most powerful thing. Your mind. And so that's why your heart center is so important because what they can make you feel, they can make you create more of. And we don't quite understand that. You don't quite understand that. I don't quite understand that even. But I know it to be fact, okay? I know it to be true. And they're not going to take that from me. They are not going to make me angry. They are not going to make me sad. They are not going to make me frustrated. Am I all of those things? Yes, in some ways I am. But I'm not focused on it. I'm not feeling it. Okay? I am not allowing myself to focus on those things. You know what I focus on? All of the beautiful things in the world. Even if I have to do it, like, consciously. Because you are able to create from your heart what you feel. So let me say this again. For those of you who are trying to create something in your life or trying to manifest something in your life and you feel like you're doing everything right, your thoughts, your visualizations, what you're thinking, how you're living, what you believe, everything else is aligned but your heart center. And what do you keep creating? Right? You keep creating right from your heart. Situations that reflect exactly what you're feeling in your heart. So, that's what I had to say. The heart center. It's time to focus on our heart center, okay? You know, focus on your root chakra. It's very important. Focus on your solar plexus chakra. It's very important. But I beg to say that, or I kind of think that the heart, everything else can be right, but if the heart center is not aligned, you're not going to be able to create. Your heart is so powerful it pumps blood to your body (laughs) all day long just think of how magical your heart runs on electricity your heart is an electrical organ okay think about that when people's heart go out of rhythm they shock it back into rhythm with electricity you are an electrical energetic being They don't want you to know that. Why? Well, why wouldn't they want you to know that, Elena? You sound nuts. What do you mean? You're an electrical being. (laughs) Let me say it again. Your heart runs on electrical impulses. Everything in your body is communicated through electrical impulses in the form of neurotransmitters traveling through cells to your brain. Electrical nerve impulses. And they don't want you to think about energy. They don't want you to talk about energy. They don't want us to understand how we all affect each other. They don't want us to know how nature affects us, how thoughts affect us, how words affect us. (laughs) Yeah, okay, bud. You know what I mean? They're just... When I say they... Okay, it's a broad... It's a broad term, okay? I'm not talking about... like I'm talking about like a specific group that kind of control what we are able to know, okay? There is a small elite group of people that completely run this world, all right? And if you don't believe that or understand that, you're allowed to think whatever you want. But if you don't understand that everything is ran and controlled by a small group of human beings, it is, okay? And they don't want us to know a lot of things, a lot of things. But you know what? You know who does want us to know? God. And God will never forsake us. So we will always figure it out. We will always figure it out, even if it takes time. God will build his army regardless of what they do. God will fix this no matter what they do. God will come out on top no matter what they do. God will get us there no matter what we do. God will get you there no matter what you do. That's the beauty of it. Now, knowing that, can't you rest now? Rest. 
Take it easy. Stop wondering what you're meant to do. Stop looking for it. It's there. You're there. You're already there. You're already there. All the prayers, all the things that you do that you don't think anybody sees, people do. You just don't realize it. Okay? They feel it. It's your heart. Your heart will change this world. Your heart will change others. Your heart will change everything. Okay? Whatever you're trying to create, whatever you are trying to create, put your heart behind it. Get your heart on board. Release the anger. Release the sadness. Let it go. Choose to let it go. Know that that's what's going on. Okay? And let it go. Use your heart to create for others, for yourself, and for the world that you want to be living in. Because without your heart on board, you're not as strong. Your creations are not as strong. Your intentions are not as strong. Your affirmations are not as strong. Okay? Now, there's a lot of ways that you can align your heart chakra. There's a lot of ways that you can get in tune to uplift that energy and to start clearing out things that you might not even realize are there in the form of energy. But if you pray on that and you talk to God and you say, hey God, thank you for helping me clear out my heart. Thank you for helping me become aware of what's weighing me down. Thank you, Father, for helping me. In fact, I'm going to pray that for you right now. Father, I pray and I thank you that every ear listening to this message right now is starting to release the negative thoughts, feelings, and things in their body, in their minds, in their spirits, in their soul, and in their heart that is weighing them down and help, helping to keep them stuck and stagnant in a place in their life that's reoccurring or a place in their life that they no longer wish to remain. Father, thank you for showing them, for giving them wisdom, for appearing to them in the most beautiful way so that they know it's you and showing them exactly what they must do to release that energy so that they can use their heart in the way that you intend us to. Thank you for doing that for us, Father, and for every person listening to this. I love you so much, and I thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you. I pray that every ear listening to this has something amazing happen to them today and that they know it was you. All right, I think that that is what I needed to say. That's exactly what I needed to say. So, get on Google, do a little, do a little searching. Search the heart chakra. Search about it. Search how how you can work on it. I have a couple good books that I've read that um, that have helped me learn more. You know, all of the information is out there. Sometimes you just have to be pointed in that direction right so for whoever this spoke to don't ignore this message take your heart seriously take what you feel seriously because your reoccurring thoughts and feelings and the things that you think and feel are important and they matter and they're really trying to teach you something at all times so use that Use it to heal yourself. Use it to find yourself. And then turn around and use it to create exactly what you want from yourself and for others. 